Alright, let's take a look at this question here. On a coordinate grid, we're going to draw a square in the following quadrants. And we're going to write the instructions for drawing the square. In our instructions, we're going to mention the xy coordinates and the labels of the points. Okay, so I want you to imagine a giant clock. Now a clock ticks to the right. Okay, it clicks, ticks this way. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to think about a clock ticking in the opposite direction. Okay, so now it's ticking to the left, which is counterclockwise. So clocks don't usually tick to the left. Okay, well if we do that, we start in quadrant one, and we go to quadrant two, then we go to quadrant three down here, and finally we end up in quadrant four, okay? So this might help you remember where to place the quadrants. Okay, so let's start by drawing a square in quadrant one. And it doesn't matter really where you draw it. Okay, and our, our uh, corners will be our points, okay? And now let's say this is point A, this is point B, this is point C, and this is point D, okay? Now we're going to label the coordinates... There, they are, A, B, C, and D. Now we're going to find the coordinates for each of these points. Okay, so let's focus first on X. So our X is what we're going to find first. And then we're going to find our Y. So remember, X is our horizontal movement, okay? So we, if we're always going to start at the origin. So if we focus on point A, this is our origin. We're starting there, moving 1, 2 to the right. Okay, so we're moving 2 to the right, or positive 2. Okay, and we're moving one up or positive one, okay? So remember when you're moving to the right or up, you're always positive, okay? And if you're moving left or down, you're always negative, okay? So there we go, that's our coordinates for point A. Now let's look at point B. We're moving one, two, three, four, five to the right, okay? And we're moving one up. Five to the right, and we're moving one up. Good. Now let's focus on point C. We're moving, again, one, two to the right, and, and one, two, three, four up. Okay? So two to the right, and four up. Okay? Good. So now we are going to focus on D. We're moving one, two, three, four, five to the right. Okay, five to the right, and one, two, three, four up. Okay, so five to the right, and four up. There we go. So that's our coordinates for our square in quadrant one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing now for quadrant two. So let's draw a square now in quadrant two. And again, it can be anywhere we want. Okay, so our points are going to be our corners. And then let's say this is A now, this is B. Okay, and then let's say this is C and this is D. Okay, so now we'll, we're going to focus on this one now. Okay, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to first write out our points so we can get our coordinates. So remember, we have X and then we have Y, okay? Okay, so let's first focus on point A. Okay, so we're going to move, and we're focusing on the origin, okay? Now, what I'm going to just erase this because we've already done this one. So let's just erase it to make this more simple. Okay, so we're moving to the left two points, okay? So we're moving to the left two points, so we're going to have a negative 2 here, okay? And we're moving up one point, so we're going to have a positive 1, okay? So negative 2, positive 1 is our coordinates for A. Now let's focus on B. We're moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, okay? So we have negative 5, okay? And now we're moving 1 up. So we have positive 1, okay? Now let's focus on point C. So if we look at point C, we're moving 1, 2 to the left, okay? So we have negative 2. And how many up are we moving? We're moving 1, 2, 3, 4 up. So we have positive 4. 
Good. Now let's focus on point D. So point D, we have one, two, three, four, five to the left, negative five, five to the left, and one, two, three, four up. Four for our Y. There we go. So that's our coordinates for our square in quadrant two. So now we're going to do part C. So we're going to draw a square now in quadrant three. So let's erase this square again so we don't get confused. Okay, so let's draw our square down here. Now you might have different coordinates because you might draw your squares in different areas than I've drawn mine, but as long as you're drawing them in these quadrants somewhere, and uh, then you're okay. okay. So make sure you're following the steps that I'm following when figuring out if you've plotted your, your squares correctly. Okay, Good, so let's focus on this one. And now the corners, we're just going to put bigger circles on. Okay, so now let's say this one's A, this one's B, okay, and this one's C, and this one's D. Good. Let's first focus on A, okay? So A, we're moving 1, 2 to the left, so we have negative 2, and we're moving how many down? We're moving 1, 2, 3, 4 down, okay? 2 to the left and 4 down, negative 4, okay? Good. Now let's focus on B, okay? So B, we're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, so we have negative 5, okay? And we're going to then move how many down? 1, 2, 3, 4 down, negative 4. Good, now let's focus on point C, okay? So C, we can see we move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? 5 to the left. And we're moving how many down? We're moving, oh, just one down. We're just moving one point down. So we have negative one. Okay, now we focus on point D as our last point. So we're moving one, two to the left. Okay, so negative two. And we're moving one down. Okay, so negative one. So there's our, our coordinates for our square in quadrant three. So that's the answer for this question.